Now, I, you know, I do deliveries, man. And when you're a delivery man, you're going to see all kind of crazy stuff. And they're going to send you all kind of crazy places, especially down here in the South. So over in Atlanta, man, I got sent to do deliver some flowers to a funeral home. Now, now this is on the west side. Now, when I get there, there's an old guy, and um, it looked like he there all by himself. So, you know, I'm saying, hey, how you doing? Well, you know, where you want me to put these? So he said, I want you to bring them and put them next to the cat. He said, I'm in the main little thing next to the guy who in the casket so i go in there and uh and he tell me where to put the flowers then he said hold on wait a minute and he leave and leave me in there you know with the guy so me i'm like i ain't no punk you know i ain't finna like run up out of here like oh you know so, so i'm like i'm gonna stay you know so he gonna try to leave me i'm gonna show him i ain't scared of it so when i get back i act like ain't nothing happened even though i'm kind of you know, because that guy in that casket tore up. Well, I'm talking about, he even told me, he like, cancer ate them all up. Dude, there was nothing left. So, then he said, I need, you know, I'll give you a couple of dollars if you can do something for me. And I said, yeah, cool, because, you know, at the time, I'm broke than a mug. I'm broke than a mug now, but back then, I was, I'm talking about, I was so I was so low, I had to look up to see the bottom of my foot, boy. <laughs> so, I said, all right, I got you, whatever. So, he said, I want you to take this. And he gave me, like, a, um, a box. It was a cardboard box or whatever. It was taped up. And he said, take it down to the basement. And I kind of paused for a minute. And uh, I said, okay. Now, he had his hand on the on the casket. And I realized the man only had four fingers. You know, as you can see the picture right here, he only got four fingers. And I'm like, yeah, dog, what the heck going on? But, you know, anyway, I said, all right, I'll take it. So now he take me to the basement. Now, when he opened up the door to the basement, it's, I'm talking about just, you remember the creepy basement that your grandma had, your granddad and grandma had? It, it was like that. He had one of them old school creepy basements, man. So I'm scared in the mud, but I want them extra dollars, man. So when I start my way halfway down the stairs, he said, be careful because my wife down there somewhere and, uh, don't let her run up on you. <laughs> I, now, he got to be 85, maybe even older. So I'm thinking like that means his wife got to be at least 75, somewhere around that age, maybe even older. So I'm like, run up on me. And um, it's a shame the things that we'll do for money. Cause right then I should have ran back up them stairs, but nah, I had to go ahead and get that little extra $10, man. 